all your lions betting on the World Cup, then won all of them back in a Morgan Freeman karaoke contest. That's a good one. But you gotta like roll into it. You like you you can't just like give out your whole life story. You, they have to be asking questions, be interested. That's the fun part. Okay. All right. This is a tough panel because I feel like everyone, everyone kind of is based a little bit to some degree. So, um, what can I say to piss all of you off or some of you? <laughs> can I ask what based means? Like, I'm sorry. I like just... based in reality. Based. What's the opposite of based? Woke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Woke, I mean. I guess. Uh, yeah. Not like. Okay. I, well. Okay. Here. How about this? Should body count matter? Ooh. Let's start with you. Me? Yep, you. Um, that's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> I've, home. For, no, like speaking to different guys, like I've met guys who like absolutely care a lot, but I've met guys who don't really care. So I think it's all, <laughs> <laughs> like personally, I don't, I wouldn't really want to date a guy that has like this huge body count, but it is normal like in society. And I'm not saying this is right or wrong, but it is normal for a guy to have a higher body count than the girl does. Can, can we ask what everybody else's like body count is first and then answer that question? So I feel like that'd be very helpful. <laughs> She's no. already shaking her well, head. I feel like that'd be very helpful for, you know. Here, why don't you start? Uh, my body count is three. Yo, stop. Stop the cap. It's Bro, three. your body count is not three. On God, it's three. It's, it's not three. She it's said three. it before, but she capped exactly. last show. Exactly. I said it last time. There's no it way three. it's three. I'm sorry. There's no it's way three. it's three. Your body I count think, is not three. I think that when it comes to women, um, that body count matters. Um, when it comes to men, I don't think it matters. Why does it matter for women and not for men? Because here's the thing. Um, women are women. Like, even ugly guys will want to f*** you. Even hot guys will want to f*** you. Because, you know, like, you got something and a lot of men are going to want it, whether they like you or they don't. For men, it's a lot harder. Like, if you see an ugly guy, whether you're an ugly girl or a pretty girl, you're still going to, like... Keep going. I just have to whisper something to her. I thought we weren't supposed to do that. I, it's just say perfect. it. It's a name. <laughs> oh. um, when it comes to men, like it's way harder for them to just like hook up with people. Like if you have a good looking man, like yeah, he can go and sleep with a bunch of people, but no, no female is going to sleep with an ugly guy or a fat guy. Um, but when it comes to girls. Oh. And oh. Martin super chatted $100. Thank you. You like jokes? Jesus. I've got you stag. Why did God create women? To get an easy way to move see men from the bed to the toilet. And I can confirm. Brian is a master cat tamer. <laughs> cat tamer. What? <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, huh? Why yo. Oh God. Uh, Martin, thank you, man. Um, I got something for you here. Hold on. That was good. Um, I see man. Seaman? I'm confused. I'm confused. Yeah. Does anyone get the joke? I don't know what happened. I think you I got it? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, I know yeah. that. Yes. But like, no. Yeah. You don't get the, the joke? Go? Nobody? I'm Could confused. we see the comment Wait, what again? happened? Yeah, yeah. what did you say? I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> what did it's fine. It's fine. Or, yeah, pull it up. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, uh, to get an easy way to move from bed to, from to the, bed. the toilet. Think about bed? intercourse. Yeah, but from bed to, to the jacking Yeah, but why from oh, bed? Can, from why from bed to jacking off? There you go. I get it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but why am I a master cat tamer? I don't do that. That's you know a spicy what? thing we can talk about. Um, cat tamer? Master tame cats? Uh, I'm talking anyways. about cunnilingus. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> yeah. anyways. We'll talk about that later. But Let's yeah, go back to body it's count. It's more important for women. Like, um, I think like two men, no one wants to be with a girl that lets anybody and everybody fuck her. And when it comes to a guy, it is harder for them to have sex or get hookups. I agree, honestly. Um, in some ways, What I do you agree with? But, um, that it's harder for men? Yeah, I think that it's, it's harder for men um, to sleep with women I think that's definitely true mm -hmm. I think I could go out like tonight and have sex if I wanted to it doesn't mean that he's super hot but I could exactly yeah, yeah women can go out and just 
anybody. It's harder yeah. for men. So I think for men, when they're looking for a partner, that it is important. Um, but when it comes to me, like, I don't care. Um, it's not important. Yeah, I think body count speaks a lot to what you value. And there will be guys who think a high body count is acceptable because they have the same values as you. And then there will be men who don't. I think it's also important to acknowledge the connections made through sex are vastly different for men and women. Women have a far greater emotional connection when doing you know, sex with, with somebody else, whereas men can be far more frivolous and less connected uh, when engaging uh, in sex with another person. All right. Okay. Um, sex is an energy exchange, um, and there's like, you know, women produce a hormone when they have sex with partners and or when they, they have produce that same hormone when they give birth. So for women, the more people you do have sex with, it just spreads that out a lot. Well, it makes it harder to bond with people. It really does. Yeah. Um, women who do have a higher body count have and I've seen this in people that I know, um, they have a harder time maintaining signif like significant relationships or sig relationships with sin significant others. Good Lord, I can't talk. Um, yeah, it's scientifically proven. I, yeah, Over here, I you guys. Spoke. I don't have you anything guys? to add, I agree. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry, no, he, it, we'll have to have you come back. <laughs> I'll get some some college feminist for you next time <laughs> uh, my apologies um it's just kind of the way the uh cards fell i guess um natasha any thoughts i was just gonna say i i think i also value um a man who values their own body count as well um i find that to be very respectable honestly agreed oh you can pull that one back up carson i'll get it right now yo martin thank you for the 50. appreciate all your support tonight man Brian Stagg told the story of you being a line tamer, cat tamer. It's a double entendre. Ah, eh bien, merci pour uh, le français. C'est très bien. Um, <laughs> yeah, that just whooshed right over my head. Typical, right? Um, thank you, though, man. Appreciate it. So, uh, okay, uh, body count. Maybe I, I, if I can frame it. I don't. I don't know how I'm going to frame it in a way to get you all offended. Well, he brought up cats. So um, is it a deal breaker if a guy won't go down on you? Natasha. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> wow. I actually don't. I Hold on. I have to think about that. Um, is it a, a deal breaker? I don't know. I find it odd that they that a man might not want to. I, I've never come across someone that didn't feel that. I don't, I've never come across someone that's felt that way, that they didn't want to do that. Actually, that's a lie. That's a dirty lie. I have. I'm so sorry. I actually have. And it was very odd. I'm not going to lie. It was super weird.